Hello everyone and welcome back to Animal Crossing. My name is Banana Piler. Today is March 6th, also known as Day 65 in our year-long adventure in the Animal Crossings. And holy crap, we are coming up on the 70-day mark, which is crazy, but hey, you know what? Let's go look around and, well, what do you know? A flower is already dying, so don't worry, flower. I am here to save you. How are you guys doing? Today's a pretty good day. A lot better than yesterday, that's for sure. I apologize for how terrible that episode was. Hope you guys can forgive me, but I do have some really good news. Starting off this episode with something fantastic. It is that next week I will be officially recording my album. And I have a lot of stuff to talk about on that. And there's our new resident. And speaking of that resident, I watched the Animal Crossing movie or whatever it was. And uh, it's an experience. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it. So let's go say, hey, I kind of feel like I'm going to like this guy. And I think... There's a flower over here. Yep, there's a dying flower. Okay, I'll fix that. Uh, I really am excited to release this EP. I got a lot of stuff to talk about on it. And I want to talk about it right now, but I gotta get these flowers out of the way. And I want to talk to that- oh my god, why are they all dying? Don't die on me, flowers! Alright, Anteater Man, what's going on? BPL! Glad you showed up! There's some stuff you and I need to talk about. Ah, true. My place is missing something. Something... Exotic. Yeah, that would totally work. Of course, I can't be seen shopping for home decor. What would the neighbors think? Would you help me out find me some furniture that's exotic? Of course, my friend. Because you are my little anteater buddy. Uh, it's looking good over here. All right, so that is a... Yeah, that's a honeybee. All right, we don't need to worry about that. Let's go over to the Able Sisters, and then probably after that, I'll start talking about the EP and things. Because, oh my god, I'm really excited. And hopefully you guys are excited too, because it is going to be pretty damn awesome. I like that umbrella back there. I like that. <laughs> I think I'm going to take that. I will take it, even though it's really overpriced. I'm going to take that as well. That's a danger shirt. Don't want, I'm like, hey danger, don't come up here, I'm dangerous. Nah, that was, that was stupid. Okay, so anyways. Uh, I was thinking about maybe cleaning out the closet, or not the closet, uh, my dresser in this episode. We might do that, I'm not 100% sure, but anyways, going with the EP, I am really, really excited. I originally was, <laughs> my god, I was originally planning to do about five songs for it, and I actually did have five guitar songs, and I was just, it was getting to this point where I was like, oh man, I'm gonna go do my, my music now, and it was just getting like annoying almost to do it. I was like, oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, and I just, I wasn't having fun with it, so I, I was like, you know what? Why am I stressing out so much about this? I need to just step back and I'd be like, you know what, I'm making music that I enjoy. I need to be happy with what I'm doing and enjoy what I'm doing. And uh, I did that and I, I cut one of the songs and now I'm down to four, but they're really good because I don't want to release, it's like, I could release ten songs and they could all be mediocre or I could release half of that and they could all be pretty dang good songs. So that's what I'm aiming for right now. Hope you guys are going to like it. I am going to start recording it next week. Not 100% sure when next week, but you guys can check out my Facebook about that. It's just uh, facebook.com slash I am sleepless. You can go there, check that. All the deets will be up there. I am going to be filming the whole progress, so that'll be interesting as well. I'm pretty excited to do that. But I really, I really can't wait to do this. I've been working on kind of working on this for about a year now. Not like every single day working on it, but coming up with ideas for it and things like that. Uh, it's it's a very interesting couple of songs for me to work on because they're all very, very personal songs that, like with my last album, or my last EP or whatever the hell that thing was, that I did. only had one song where I sang on it and it wasn't really a personal song or anything. It sort of had some meaning behind it, but it wasn't really a song that I would necessarily be proud of. But I can say that with each song on here, I am exceptionally proud of all of them, so I'm really excited for you guys to hear this. And the interesting thing with making music, especially if you're doing more guitar-oriented stuff like I am, is you can work on a song, and you know, you get the guitar and you sing and stuff, and then when you actually go and record, and you get into the actual like editing of it, and mastering it, and placing everything just right, the song can kind of change, but it, it takes this really interesting change that you weren't expecting. It's like, oh wow, I could do that and that would sound absolutely amazing. So that's that's really fun to get into that. I really love doing that. I just like making the song, I'm like, alright, it is perfect. And then I get into like logic when I'm placing all the tracks and getting everything all lined up. And I'm like, you know what? Actually, it would sound better if I did this. And then it just, it takes this awesome song 
and it makes it sound even better. So I am excited for that. Album is going to be up on iTunes and Bandcamp. The little, like, filming documentary thing that I'm doing is going to be free. I don't want you guys to have to pay for that. That's stupid. So you can see that up. I'll just upload that to YouTube. Hopefully you guys will like that. I think it'll be pretty interesting. But, uh, yeah, besides that, once I'm done with that, I can focus all of my time on drawing and things. So I've been a little stressed out lately, trying to do so many things. It was like, oh man, I gotta finish this. I think that's where it was coming from. I was like, I need to have five songs on here because it's been a while since I released anything. I don't want to disappoint anyone. I was like, what's the point in adding another song if it's not even going to be a good song? So I was like, all right, screw it. I'm just scrapping that song. I mean, I could use it potentially in the future, but for right now, I think it's just a lot better if I get rid of it. So, with all that said and done, if you can't tell, I'm in a pretty good mood today. I am really happy today. A lot of good things happened as far as music, the game, just uh, everything in general, actually. Um, yeah, really, just a pretty good day. I can't even think of one thing that went wrong, honestly. <laughs> I'm just in a fantastic mood, and you're probably gonna hear me say that a few times, so that may get kind of annoying. By the way, seriously, you should go watch the Animal Crossing movie. It's really weird. Like, the ending is just like, what is going on here? But besides that, it's pretty interesting. And I think we are definitely going to clean out the dresser that I have today because I really need to organize that. There are some articles of clothing that I would like to keep, but there's also some that are just retarded that I bought because I thought they'd be funny and I never plan on wearing them again. So we'll probably need to get rid of that. And I also have like a ton of pitfalls. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep them. Maybe I'll give them to Becca. I don't know, man. We'll do something like that. But besides that, I have been thinking, like today was such a jam-packed day, I had so much stuff going on. Uh, it was like, called the, my tax guy, got all that situated, gonna be able to go sit down next week, finish them all up, so that's awesome, no more stressing about that. Although I still need to get like some of the write-offs, but besides that, all done with that. Um, had some healthcare things, uh, they called me, set everything up, so that's all fine, no problems there whatsoever. I uh, worked on drawing today. It went fantastically, actually. I was really proud with what happened there. And just so many good things happened today. I'm really happy. <laughs> I know, I'm just kind of... I sound like a broken record player right now. I don't really see anything exotic. I mean, that's a cabin couch, so I don't really think that's exotic, so I'm gonna have to say no to that, Timmy. Sorry about that. I know you wanted me to buy that, but whatever, man. Um, let's see. Maybe we got something good here. Persian wall is disgusting. By the way, do not eat Greek yogurt before recording. Bam! It's been a while since that tip has been there. Exact same thing I clicked on. I am... Oh yeah, I sat down a little bit. I kinda tried... <laughs> really? I tried to think of a potential schedule and I kinda got one down. Exotic wall. Uh, let me see what it looks like. Oh my god, that looks terrible. Uh, it looks like a recording studio with like the soundproof uh, foam pads and stuff. Yeah, I'll take that. Maybe... Maybe that little anteater dude will be into that, I don't know. I guess we'll see. That is a shanty wall. I do not want your shanty wall, he said. I do not like green eggs and ham. So nope, I'm not gonna take that. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, schedule and stuff. I'm gonna, I have a schedule that I am working on. It's probably gonna be like... What I have planned is Sunday is going to be the challenge day. Monday is gonna be a random question. Tuesday is gonna be Texty Tuesdays. Wednesday is gonna be a random question. Thursday is probably gonna end up being the, the, um, what is, what is the right word? Go to the city and pick the hairstyle so you guys can do that. Saturday will be, actually, now I might turn, let's see, I might turn, I might turn Thursday into, I go to the city and I get my hair changed, so you guys can pick that, but also the article of clothing. I might do that, I'm not 100% sure, but that is kind of a rough idea of what I want to do, and I need to put another tree down here, and I'm sorry if you hear any, like, wind chimes and tons of wind. It's apparently gonna rain pretty damn badly around here. Oh, hey, Wendy, how you doing? Sheepy sheep, you're looking all totally BPL rocks today! How do you feel about Rosie and Lolly? They seem so, I don't know, grown up or like they're better than everyone else. Whatever. Maybe they just have like a business relationship. Yeah. Uh, Rosie was actually in the Animal Crossing movie, which was pretty interesting. I saw her. She had the exact same wallpaper that she has in the game. I was like, oh, I see what you did there. She was, uh, 
pretty eccentric in that movie, so I wasn't that surprised. Oh man, I totally forgot that I had all these flowers. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go back up the path because I think I'm. Oh wait, hold on, money rock time. This could potentially be the money rock. If it isn't, I I don't know. I must have derped or something. Oh, actually, I know where it is. It's uh. There's the one by Gigi's house, and then there's the one like right to the left of that, so we'll go check that. I think I'm just gonna end up putting these flowers on the sides of the path, because right now, uh, I've sort of covered most of the major dead areas. I'm sure there's some more around there, but right now I think it might look a little bit better to get that working on. Or maybe what I'll do is, uh, I'll put them like right around here, like kind of on the more dead spots or something, I don't know. Even if you don't have any flowers or trees around there, it will grow back, it's just a bit of a slow process, and in spring, apparently, the grass erosion will, like, kind of heal itself a little bit faster, so that's great. Hopefully, by the end of the season, everything will be all purdy. Unfortunately for me, my money rock is right next to really bad erosion, so, like, if this is the money rock and I walk over here, kind of defeats the whole purpose of everything, but hey, you know what, man? If you can't beat them, cheat. It's my philosophy right there. Alright, drop that. We're gonna go and plant these flowers. And screw it, we're just gonna put them here, man. I don't even care. Gotta make this look all purdy and whatnot. We haven't done this in a while. Oh yeah, I hope that the anteater man is gonna be like, Oh hey, an exotic wall, I'll take that. I don't know if he asked for furniture, specifically. Wasn't really paying attention, which is probably a bad thing. But I guess we'll see what happens, I don't know. I would like to actually... Maybe a little bit later on in the series lifespan. Kind of have it alternating between like two different colors, like almost like a red and a white or something. Like red and then white and then red and then white. Something like that. Because like this, I don't know if this looks like too derpish or if like all the colors look really nice. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I, I don't know. We'll, we'll think about that stuff later on. And uh, you know, oh, by the way, thank you guys so much for kind of being pretty awesome in the comment section on the last video. Uh, I know I was being a bit of a derp. I was just really annoyed with that day, so I apologize if uh, came off a little bit douchebaggish. But uh, you guys were really nice and stuff, and you've offered a lot of just really helpful advice, which I've taken into consideration and has been pretty helpful. So until Tyler and I get a completely solid idea down for this game, which we might potentially have, I'm not gonna go into any specifics or anything on it, until then because I don't want to like get your guys's hopes up and then it's like oh snap what were oh I guess she got mad at Al so I don't want to get you guys hopes up and then be like oh wait no we're completely switching the design for the game so I'm not gonna do that hey I got a great idea let's play crazy Al's crazy house of deals I'll be the sales dude and you be the customer <clears throat> oh hello welcome to crazy Al's crazy house of deals everything is super cheap here can I interest you in any of our fine deals sir the prices for everything have been slashed how about that excellent choice sir a cow skull is a welcome addition to any home if you purchase it right now I'll give it to you for 1100 bells nope sorry oh no sir the only thing that's ridiculous is our prices Hmph. if you're not gonna buy anything then you have no business here Wow Al that was kind of rude, man. Uh, but, so, wait, did I shake some more? Oh no, I didn't shake any oranges down. Derp. I yeah, was just gonna cheat a little bit there. Nobody saw that. <laughs> Nobody saw that. So yeah, probably in a day or two, I will officially release that schedule. I'll probably put it on the main page of my channel for the whole Animal Crossing thing and let you guys know what's going on. I have not had any time to edit Zelda, unfortunately, so don't expect a new episode. Probably till this weekend, maybe. Sorry about that. We did record a whole bunch of it. We might be recording a whole nother batch of it. But I got all the audio, I got all the video. I just need to like master all that audio, which takes a while, especially when it's like an hour long file. And I have to transfer it over because my computer was being a derp like my PC. I have all of it on my Mac, my MacBook right now. Because for whatever reason, when I plug in my Blue Yeti, it's like, oh no, I'm sorry. We just like, it doesn't work, even though you've been recording with this thing, you know for almost a year now. I'm like, yeah, totally, that makes sense. It wouldn't work. Yeah, whatever, okay. I don't know. Sometimes there's just stupid little problems wrong with uh, with the computer and it just doesn't fix itself, so it's kind of annoying. I looked into it and no one has had this problem, and I was like, oh god, is my mic going out? I don't want to spend another hundred bucks on this mic. And I plug it into my Mac and it's like, nope, it's working, and I'm like, what? That doesn't even make any sense, man. Hey, you! 
Ah, this place is fine. Hey, what's up? Well, if it isn't BPL, did you eat too much at lunch? You look a little sluggish. What did you want? See anything you're just seeing, seeing anything you've done? Normally, I'm too proud to beg, but I might make an exception this time. But I got you an exotic wall, man! I got... Let's talk. Uh, I bumped into Matt Suze. I gotta say, he seems like a sharp one. He really just a class X. So you re Oh, whoa, did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, we're gonna grab that real quick. So apparently the exotic wall is not up his alley. Screw you, anteater guy. I totally never even look at his name. Uh, we'll just grab this one. That should be pretty good. There we go. Hope it's something Nintendo related. If it was like Nintendo flooring, that would be the greatest sheet ever. Uh, let's see. Open. Fire flower! That is actually pretty good. It's not flooring, but I can make an exception this time. Uh, let's see. Kind of running out of room, so I think we're just gonna om nom on these oranges real quick. I still have a ton of stuff in my letter slot up here. Let's see, what do I have? Remove present. Remove present. Remove present. Remove present. Oh my god. Oh wait, I have an exotic bench! What do you know? Hey, Anteater bro, I got something for ya. Where the hell did he go? What the hell? How are you so fast, Anteater man? Did he cut down through here or something? It's not looking like it. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, by the way, I have- oh, there he is. I'll say that in a second if I remember. BPL, is there something you want to talk about? Take this furniture! It is an exotic bench. Gah! Of all the things you could have brought me, you came to me with an exotic bench. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I've already got one of these. My place look pretty lame. Wow. Really? Really? <laughs> You are kind of a douchebag. I like his huge ass eyebrows. Um, lab chair, how about that? Is that exotic enough for you? Hey, you know this is an exotic, right? Oh my god. Ah, you are kind of a dick bag, man. You are kind of a dick bag. Anyways, I've been playing a lot of Okami lately, which you guys probably already know about because I've been talking about that. Man, I have not tweeted in forever. I just realized that. I think I'm gonna do that right now because uh, I've just really been preoccupied, obviously, with music in this game, so I am sorry to everyone if I have not been tweeting much, but I am starting again. <laughs> Red Snapper. <laughs> there are some funny things in here. I might actually, like, include some kind of... <laughs> I... <laughs> there is the funniest thing that I retweeted. Somebody, like, uh, made a little... It almost looks like MS Paint kind of thing of the ladybug. That is funny. Uh, pink roses. Thanks for the water, Banana Pilot. I was feeling quite under the weather. I'm thinking what I might do... Wait, how is it? Ladybug. I don't even see no ladybug. People are like, there's ladybugs on here, but I don't... Oh, wait, I see them. Okay, wow, those things are difficult to find. Anyways. I might introduce some kind of thing where I do a, like, Twitter kind of thing. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do that. Um, maybe. Not 100% sure, but I'm gonna tweet right now. Hey guys, I am a... No, wait, no. Hey guys, I... Hey, you know what? Screw this. Slut. There we go. There's my tweet. I don't feel like thinking. Alright, that's good enough. So, I'm gonna start tweeting again. Wow, it's been like... I don't know, it's been a while, I have not checked it. I really don't even know why. Uh, obviously I've been kind of busy, but that's no exception for, you know, not checking with you awesome guys. No, I am keeping the Knight's Helmet. I am gonna sell the bear top. I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna keep that for obvious reasons. I like the ninja hood, so I am gonna keep that. Uh, that should be about everything that I want to sell. 3,000, that's not too shabby. I'll definitely take that. But yeah, I am thinking about doing something with Twitter. I don't really know why I do, but uh, I think that'd be kind of fun to do something like that. Uh, remove present. Red ribbon. I think I'm gonna sell the red ribbon, actually, because I don't really like the red ribbon as much as I thought I would. Being a little picky here. 40 bells, yeah, I mean, that was not like I spent over 200 on that or anything. But you know what, Nook? You just keep cheating people out of money, and that's how you keep being able to upgrade your store. 
kind of sucks that I already have the last upgrade for this and we're only like in March of this Let's Play. But I mean, you know what? There's still so much else that we can do, especially later on. I am mildly concerned though that maybe in a month or two it's going to get to the point Oh yeah, I got to really watch for ladybugs because for whatever reason I can't find them. I am mildly concerned though that in the upcoming months the episodes may get shorter just due to the fact that there won't be that much to do or I've done it so much. But, I don't know, I guess we'll see what happens around then. If I'm doing challenges and being a little more interactive, I think it might not be that bad if I'm implementing the changes that I am trying to implement right now. I think it'll still be pretty fun. But I guess we'll see what happens. And as far as any new series goes, I really don't know. A lot of people are like, hey, I'd like to really see Monster Hunter, so that might be something I do. Not 100% sure. And you know what? I am going to sell... Actually, I kind of need to keep most of this stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go upstairs because we don't even go upstairs that much anymore, man. I'm sorry, upstairs. I know you love me and stuff. Whoa, excuse me. That Greek yogurt. Okay. Uh, fire flower place in room. Oh, hell yeah. That looks so wrong when I do that. But hey, there we go. We are slowly building this thing up. We got a Luigi hat. We got a Metroid hat. Samus hat, technically. Uh, we have the star, we have the master sword, we got a fire flower, we got a piranha, we got Nook's thing, we got Rossetti, we have a bullet bill cannon, we have a question mark block, it's so awesome. Oh, and as I was saying, I've been playing a lot of Okami, amazing game, I highly, highly recommend that game to anyone who likes games. There you go. And besides that, I've been playing a lot of, or not necessarily a lot, but I've just recently started playing, oh, was it Super Metroid? Great game. That game is so fun. Like, I never played that when I was younger, but I just, I kind of like grabbed an emulator for it. And I was like, oh, hey, this looks pretty cool. I guess I'll check it out. And it's really fun. Like, I, it's, it's like so atmospheric, especially for a, a Super Nintendo game, which I wasn't really expecting. Now, let's see what I have. Green lava lamp, bowling pin. Oh, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff in here. Got the screen, samurai suit. Definitely want to keep all of that. Um, okay, so what I need to do is I'm going to put all of my tools in here. This might become mildly boring, so I am going to apologize ahead of time because <laughs> you can kind of see what I'm going to be doing right here. Okay, so what do I want to keep? I definitely want to keep, well, everything that I have right there. So let's start from page one. I have a work uniform, which I definitely want to keep. Triangle shades, I think I'm going to get rid of triangle shades. I'm going to get rid of that because I don't really like it. I am going to keep the armor suit. I'm going to get rid of the skull shirt. I'll keep that even though I don't want it. I definitely want the wizard's hat. I'm going to get rid of the paper. Green knit hat, that made me look like a hobo. I kind of like that actually. I'm going to get rid of the bandage. 3D glasses, I'm going to get rid of those. Noble shirt, I think I'm going to get rid of that actually. Toad shirt, I am going to keep that. Blue zap shirt, I'll keep that because of the helmets obviously. One up cap, I want to keep that definitely. I really like the one up cap. Gas mask, superhero mask, I'm going to keep that. I am going to get rid of the superhero mask though. Mohawk wig, I want it. Strawberry shirt, I don't want it. Sombrero, I definitely want it. Cafe shirt, I think I like that one. Green zap, I want to keep that. Egyptian outfit, we can keep that. Blue pom-pom hat, uh, I don't really want that, and a diving mask, I don't really want that either. So, we've already cleared out a little bit, that's not too bad. What I, what I think I'm gonna do though, is to save you guys from having to watch me go back and forth in between Nook, I'm just kinda gonna dump all of this on the ground, and uh, we'll just make a few trips or something. You know what, screw it, I'm just, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we'll just, you know, I know what we'll do. We'll drop all this out here. Because, dear God, I am gonna have a lot of junk to sell, man. This is gonna be crazy. I'm hoping maybe, oh yeah, those were the invite cards. I really don't want those. Uh, that's pretty good right there. And then we can drop all of this junk. I am gonna keep that, but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these in here. Actually, that was kind of stupid because I could have just put them back in, you know, like slot two or three in my dresser. But hey, you know what? You don't watch my videos to see me be smart, apparently. I'm going to keep that hat right there. Or actually, I'm going to take the hat and I'll put it back in here. But I do really like this hat. 
I don't know why. It just makes me happy. Uh, let's see. We'll put the Tyrolean hat down there. All right. Page three. Okay, so page four. We got a kitty shirt. I'm going to sell that. We got a BB shirt. I think I'm going to have to sell that. Kiwi hat. We're definitely keeping. Red zap helmet. We're going to keep that. Samurai wig. We got to keep it. Pitfall C. We got to keep it. Grape hat. We got to keep it. Military uniform. I actually like that. Jungle camo can go. We got to keep the candy, which will make apparently Easter. Not Easter. I think uh, Halloween easier or something. We have to get rid of the barber's pole. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to get rid of the Dharma, even though it would kind of technically fit with my whole uh, what is it like Japanese kind of theme I got going on. But I just think it'd be kind of stupid. I want the eye patch. I think I'm gonna get rid of the turnip top. The huge shades I definitely like. This is the second shopping cart I have, so we'll get rid of that. Bad plaid can go. Cavalier hat. We gotta keep it, man. The t <laughs> I like the turban and the detective hat and Stash's glasses. We gotta keep that. Mr. Whiskers, we can't get rid of him, man. We gotta keep the Dape Tech. Dape Tech, yeah, okay. Red Zap Helmet. Do I have two of these? I think I have two Red Zap Helmets. Yep, so... We're gonna get rid of that one. Turnip Top. I think I... Yep, alright, so... I'll just get rid of the second Turnip Top, because I don't really want it. Get rid of the Bone Shirt. Trench Coat, I definitely want to keep that. King's Beard, hell yeah. Grape Shirt's good. Goggles are good. Green drum, Roman helmet, and stale cupcakes. All right, I think I'm gonna get rid of green drum. I don't even know why I have that in there. Pink Kotatsu, or Kotatsu. Yeah, that, okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep all of that because those were presents. That's where all my other junk is. Actually, I think we are almost done with this, surprisingly. So if we dump this over there, and then we probably make one Maybe two more trips. I think we'll have all the junk cleared out of there. Then I just need to organize it just a little bit, but that shouldn't be too bad, man. I'm really... This town is interesting. I'll be really sad when this Let's Play ends. Of course, like, I've still got quite a while until that happens, so... Don't need to worry about that, but that'll be pretty interesting. Around the time this ends is... <sighs> considering... The scope of what we're trying to do with this game, we're not 100% sure if it's going to take... We're not sure how long it's going to take, per se. Uh, what I'm trying to say is... We're really gonna hit development really hard in mid-May. And we're gonna do that for about three months, pretty much the entire summer. We're just going to be working almost non-stop on this game. That's why we're spending this time right now working on story and you know, characters and trying to get... Uh, pretty much organize the whole thing down on paper so when we actually work on it, we're like, Oh yeah, okay, we have everything organized and structured out so there's no guessing when we're working on it because you don't want to do that. I'm going to keep the arcade machine. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to have to get rid of the tires, man. I'm going to have to get rid of the tires. I'm gonna get rid of the do-rag just because it's so retarded. Keeping the box of tissues for obvious reasons. I like the nebulous shirt. I'm gonna get rid of that. I like the beak. I love the geisha wig. I like the folk shirt. I'm gonna keep the chocolate heart. I like the red glasses. Bunny hood for sure, man. I gotta keep that. Bear cap. I think I like that. Space helmet. I gotta keep it. Chef's hat. Pilot shades. Leaf umbrella. Top hat. Winter sweater. Actually, I didn't like the winter sweater. Doctor's mirror. I don't think I like that one either. Uh, get rid of the level one watering can because I don't need that. I'll keep the red cap. Get rid of the bear shirt. Get rid of the kiwi shirt. I think... No, I think I'm going to keep those. Keep the medicine just in case. Keep the helmet. Club shirt. Elephant shirt. I remember the elephant shirt, so I am going to keep that. Bunny shirt, gonna keep it. Sailor's hat, detective hat, don't want it. Puffy hat, I think we're gonna keep it. Uncommon shirt, I think I like the uncommon shirt, actually. Uh, pirate's coat. What is this? Silver frames. Alright, so actually, that is good. Now that we've done that, I can go and sell all this junk to Nook. I was gonna cut this out, but you know what, man? Screw it. I don't even care right now. It's annoying that my computer always goes to sleep, because I like to look at what time I'm at. Hey, Pate, get out of here. No one cares. I have a lot of junk to sell. But it's nice to finally organize my dresser. So now when I go over there, I can be like, oh, yeah, 
I can do all of this junk. And what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna have a dedicated section in the dresser to where I keep letters to send to myself at the end of the year of this Let's Play. Like, what I mean is probably every... I'm thinking about 50 episodes, I'm gonna write a letter to my future self, so then, like, I can look at it at the end of the Let's Play, which would be really, pretty interesting. A lot of people have been like, hey, you should do a greatest moments kind of thing for the end of the Let's Play, which is a really cool idea, and if I do that, I gotta start seriously taking down ideas now, because I am already about 70 episodes in, so... Might be kind of difficult, but it's better starting now than, say, at, like, episode 250. It's kind of crazy to think I can even potentially get up to episode 250, but it is possible, man! You never know. You never know. So let's go and grab the rest of those things. And then I think after that... Uh, I'm gonna go and I want to organize the dresser just a little bit. I'm gonna have to think of a mildly interesting name for this one, because it's... A lot of boring things happening right now. Uh, let's see, I can grab a pretty good chunk. I still have all those letters too that I can put stuff in. Haven't been getting many letters at all lately. I think I'm probably gonna have to start sending messages to people in my town. I don't I don't really want to because I'm lazy and I don't like any of them that much. Uh, oh yeah, I had those three. I totally forgot about that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just kind of skip that because if I don't, I'm probably gonna end up getting confused because I'm not the smartest guy, apparently. I try to be, but apparently I'm not. Speaking of smarts, I think what I hated the most in school was probably history. For whatever reason, it just bored the hell out of me, man. I was always like, I don't like history, man, this is boring. Uh, as far as, like, school went, the only thing I really liked was literature. Like, that was the only thing I did well in. I sucked balls at math, I hated history, science was stupid, I didn't really like it at all. Did I already say math? Because I hated math with a passion. There's all kinds of stuff, but literature was the only thing that I really enjoyed. I loved reading it, I loved kind of having to do like the essays and stuff where it was like, okay, so what do you think all of this meant? Kind of like looking deeper into the I almost meaning behind the words. That was something that I really enjoyed doing, but you can't, you know, do that well only doing that. It's, it's, I don't know. I think because I like literature, it kind of helps me out with a lot of stuff now. Uh, especially like story aspects that we're doing right now uh, involving the game. So, I mean, it worked out and stuff. You know, you gotta play to your strengths, man. If you don't like math, there's nothing wrong with you. If you like history, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just the kind of stuff you like. Everyone's different, which is kind of weird because you get into this. This, uh, when you're, when you're a teenager, you're like, oh man, I'm not normal, I need to be more like this person. I really like drawing, but no one else does, my parents don't really support me on that. But you know what, your parents will most likely support you on anything you do, and if they don't, well, uh, that's kind of awkward. But you shouldn't let anything stop you from pursuing your dream. I know I've had a lot of setbacks recently with music and art and stuff, but I kept pushing forward. When I hurt my hand last year, it really depressed the hell out of me and I stopped working on it for a while, but I said, no man, even though I hurt my hand a little bit, I can still do this, so I'm not gonna stop. And you know, you just gotta push forward. Things might seem bleak, you know? Especially, it was really scary for me. I mean, like, I'm no, I'm no, I'm not in any position right now to talk to be like, oh man, I've made millions of dollars off of music or anything, but I am genuinely happy with my life right now, so I think that is a huge plus for me right now, because you can do something that you don't like, like maybe your parents make you go and do something in school and you're like, oh man, I hate this, I'm not happy, but you know, I'm like, I'm not even doing school right now, and working on music in a game, don't even know if this game's gonna do well, but screw it man, I am happy, and that is all that matters. So now, the annoying part is how much junk I actually have in here. Which I don't feel like organizing right now, but actually I need to put all this in here. So we'll organize that later, because I think we did a pretty decent job getting all the junk out of there. So we'll probably just go and get, uh, or organize it probably in tomorrow's episode or something like that. I'm gonna grab all of this junk, yo. And there we go. So I still got that harp, which I <laughs> still need to give to someone, but I haven't done that yet. 
Uh, you know what? Let's just go look around the town a little bit. Maybe we'll find a dig spot and maybe we'll fish or something. I don't know. Let's just, uh, screw around. We already found the money rocks and we don't need to do that. I would like to find a dig spot or something like that because they are really difficult to find now that the season has changed. Wasn't expecting to be this difficult. Can't find any ladybugs apparently because I'm that terrible with my observational skills. Uh, nothing over there. Ironically though, when I was a kid I used to love books where you had to find things that were hidden, but now... Oh shoot, I need a... Uh, I need, I need, I need... Uh, I cannot remember what you have to give to this guy. Sand dollar. Porchuleta thing. Sand dollar. Sand dollar. He needs a... What does he need? I can never remember. Is it a clam or something? Sand dollar, okay. Man, I hope I have something there. Even if I don't, I think you'll say kind of something mildly interesting, but I would really like to actually get an item from him. Uh, okay, I need to find a normal scallop, which is not looking good right now, man. Sand dollar. Oh, crap. I don't know if I'm going to find a normal scallop for this guy. We have the other side of the beach, but that is our last chance to find it, man. And if we don't... Oh, he's, he's also in the movie, by the way. Hey, poor little flower. Uh, let's see, where's my watering can? I can't tell if any grass has grown back over here or not. I, I'd like to say those little splotches are uh, good news that it's growing back, but I can't remember if it was already like that. Oh, hey, oh, hell nah. No weed. Get out of here. I don't like weed in my town. It's not the kind of guy I am. Uh, there are some down here. Oh snap, man. I don't feel good about this. Sand dollar. Okay. So make or break right over here. Come on. Come on, be it. Sand dollar. Oh, wait, hold on. There's this one right here. Sand dollar. <laughs> well, looks like we're not getting an item from this guy, but we can still potentially have him say something mildly interesting. Looks like he has an onion on his head almost. Man. Breathing air feels pretty good. Hey, can I share something with you? The ocean can never be full, man. There's always room for more rain. Dude, you just blew my mind. Yeah, okay, you get out of here, stoner. I don't need none of that stuff right now. Hey, look, there is a fish right here. I kind of feel like fishing today. Since I apparently can't find any dig spots. Okay, come on. Yeah. Come on, little fishy. Fish! Why do you do this to me? I'm just trying to capture you. Oh, this fish is starting to piss me off, man. Okay. Oh my god. Turn around and- I just- I want to catch you now just because of how much of a douchebag you've been. Come on, fish. Oh, wow. I caught a yellow perch! Alright, so that's nothing new, which kind of sucks, but hey, who cares, man? Uh, let's just fish for a little bit, try and catch some stuff in the river, and then I think I'm probably gonna end the episode there. I really feel like playing Okami right now. I feel like playing Okami, I feel like playing Super Metroid, I feel like doing a lot of stuff. Super Metroid, if you've not played that game, it's so good, and I know I'm really late to saying this, but it is a fantastic game. The It's like so atmospheric, uh, especially for a Super Nintendo game, which I really was not expecting. Uh, it's one of the few series that I've always wanted to get into, but I'm really not a huge fan of backtracking. But I just sat down, I played it, and I was like, man, this is actually really fun. It, it was incredibly atmospheric, I couldn't believe that. The way they designed it was just beautiful. So I can understand why that series gets so much praise, except obviously for the other M, which nobody seemed to like that much. Uh, it looked interesting, but everybody complained that Samus was too whiny. So, probably one that I skip out on. I remember I played the demo of... I think it was like Metroid Prime 3 or something for the GameCube at Walmart when I was a kid. And I really wanted that game, but I did not have a GameCube at the time. So I would always just go there and I'd play it. I already have a loach. But I'd always just go there and I'd play it for like as long as I could before some kid came and was like, Hey, move! I wanna play! I hate you, I got problems, my catchphrase is like, so last decade, I need something bright and happy. 
and bright or whatever. Just change it for me, please. No sweat. I have to jump on opportunities like this while I'm still an unknown commodity. Uh, let's see. You want a catchphrase? I got one for you. I think it's pretty good. Hope I don't run out of room. It's looking like I might. Of course. Well, you know what we'll do? We'll just do this. Derp -a -derp. Yeah, sounds pretty good, right? Nice. Gosh, she'll be, you could totally be a producer with you behind the desk and me on stage will be all stoppable and stuff. I actually considered being like a producer. Because I really do enjoy that side of music, but I also really prefer making my own. So I think I'll just be my own producer. It works out pretty well. Don't have to go to a recording studio and pay like stupid amounts of money just to have someone master my stuff because you know it's like if you just sit down you can do it just as well as somebody at a recording studio I mean it's honestly such a ripoff the only thing can you stop doing that thank you oh, you may have heard that I accidentally like tapped the mic but the only thing good that can come from a producer is that they might have a different view on the song you're making so you can be like, okay, I really want to do this, this is my vision for it, and they can be like, that is really awesome, but what if you tried this? Now, that can also be a downfall, so, I mean, you gotta be careful about that, and if you, I mean, like, personally, I really like working by myself, or with Tyler, <laughs> that's about it, those are the only, like, people I like working with, myself or Tyler, that's, that's it, but, you know, it works out in my favor, that's the thing, man, you gotta play to your strengths, uh, I could be like, oh, yeah, well, I mean, I could do this, or I could go pay, like, you know, $500 to get this guy to like master and produce my stuff and I'm like, you know what? Screw that man. I like doing stuff by myself So why the hell shouldn't I do it? There's like no right and wrong in life Which is something really weird that you kind of have to uh, Get used to cuz like I know for me. I'm always like, okay So what's the right way that I need to do this and I've always it's always like been really stressful for me cuz I've been like Oh, no, this doesn't seem right. I can't do this or if I make this kind of video people won't like it. it's not the right way to do it I'm like hey who the fuck cares? It's my video, I can do whatever I want. And, uh, it's- that's really what I've been trying to get back into lately, because I- for a while there, it was just like... You did not hear that. For a while there, it was like, I really just need to do this because this is the right way, but it's so much more fun just... taking your own kind of, uh, stance on something. Like, with that most recent Zelda video, I don't even know if anyone really liked it, but... I was just editing it, and I was like, you know what, man, screw it, I'm just gonna, like, f screw around with this, and I just added random dubstep, and I just did all this dumb stuff in it, but I had so much fun doing it, and, uh, that's kind of what I haven't done in a while, I've just been like, you know what, let's just do what I think would be fun, so, it's really what I've been trying to do, I've been doing that with music, too, like, I've been doing some... But not necessarily weird stuff, but some out of ordinary stuff like that I normally wouldn't do. Cause like I, I was just getting into this like frame of mind where it would be like, okay, so I do drums, I do this, I do that, and then I just kind of work on a little bit from there. So it was like this, uh, this process that I was doing that was just I didn't really want to do, but it was just like almost um, what's the right word for it? I can't think of it, but I was just doing it, not even really thinking about it. So it was making the actual process of making a song really boring and monotonous. Oh, I see it! That's a ladybug. Oh my god. Okay, well this is bad, cause, um... Okay. Can't put a fish in letter. You know what? You can't put a dick in a letter either. Okay, I'm sorry. Outburst. Um, I need a bug catching net. I need a bug catching net. Uh, remove present. Is it really the last one that I check? It really is the last one that I check. Okay. We are gonna be super sneaky here. We're gonna do some pretty sneaky stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. I caught a ladybug. So so small. So so cute. Uh, mm, okay. All right. Yeah. Whatever. So I finally caught. The illustrious ladybug, which I could never find, apparently. I don't know why. I totally just saw that thing by accident. So I'm gonna go to Nook's first. I'm gonna sell all this junk. Then we'll go over to Mr. Blathers. And I think we'll end the episode there. Brewster was also in the uh, Animal Crossing movie which, movie, which was pretty cool. He didn't offer any pigeon milk, which I was quite disappointed about. There was some really cool stuff in the actual, sh like, uh, movie or whatever. 
that I wish they kind of would have included in uh, in the game. Like there was like a cave you could explore and stuff like in there that they went exploring. I was like, wow, that would be really cool to do. Like in Harvest Moon, um, a magical melody. I think that's what it was, which is in my opinion the best Harvest Moon game ever made. Like it was so cool because in winter in that game. Like, what would happen was, like, the water would freeze over on this one lake, and then you could, like, walk out there, and then there was, like, this whole new, like, chunk to the game that you could do to make extra money. And, of course, like, that's how I only made my money, pretty much. <laughs> like, I would just, like, wait until then, and, like, not even get any animals, I'd barely, like, make any crops. I'd just go over there, and I'd be like, alright, I'm gonna smash rocks and stuff and get a ton of money. I got so good at that, dude. I made, like insane amounts of money and I remember on a wonderful life I told I didn't necessarily cheat but I found like a total loophole in the game you could plant banana trees and it took like a whole uh, I don't know season or something for them to actually harvest or be able to harvest but once you did that they could just be harvested all year so I had these banana trees that I was able to harvest constantly and one like bundle of bananas sold for like 700 in that game which was really good and i think each tree like gave out three or something so i was just making tons of money just like a hand over fist amounts man it was ridiculous but it was fun <laughs> it was so fun i did say is that the ladybug insects are out to bother me mad as it sounds i find a lone ladybug somewhat fetching but they tend to cluster in cold weather if you were to flip over a rock in winter, you might see the underside crawling with them. That is actually kind of disgusting. <laughs> but we finally found the ladybug. I am really proud of us, even though you guys had absolutely nothing to do with it. But hey, you know what? I am going to give you props because you guys are pretty damn awesome. So you know what? I think that's a pretty good time to end the episode. I need to go edit. I need to go play more Metroid. I need to go play Okami. I need to sleep. And then I need to work on stuff in the morning. So anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, we're not doing the whole, like, schedule thing yet. So I'm not going to do, like, you know, pick out what you'd like to see me do my hair with at the city or pick out my clothes. We'll start that this upcoming Sunday. That's when the schedule will take full effect. And then I'll, like, let you guys see it so you know exactly when things are going to happen. But besides that... Thank you guys so much for watching. I should have asked you to leave random questions. I totally forgot about that. If you watched this far, feel free to leave a random question in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on tomorrow's episode. My name is Banana Pie Lord. <laughs>